the march family mrs march goes out of town to her husband who has fallen ill find out what each of her daughters writes to her about the sisters agreed to send their mother on her journey unsaddened by tears mother sat trying to eat but looking worn with sleeplessness and anxiety meg dear watch over your sisters be patient jo don't do rash things and be my brave girl beth be faithful to the little home duties and amy keep happy and safe at home they kissed their mother quietly clung about her and tried to wave their hands cheerfully when she drove away my dearest mother it is impossible to tell you how happy your last letter made us the girls are all as good as gold jo insists on doing all sorts of hard jobs beth is as regular about her tasks as a clock amy does her own hair and i am teaching her to mend her stockings Laurie is very kind and neighborly. He and Jo keep us merry. Hannah is a perfect saint. She always calls me Miss Margaret and treats me with respect. We long to have you back. Give my dearest love to father and believe me, ever your own, Meg. This note, written on scented paper, was a great contrast to the next, which was scribbled on a big sheet of paper. ornamented with all manner of curly tailed letters my precious mummy i rushed up when the letter came and tried to thank god for being so good to us we have such funny times you'd laugh to see meg head the table and try to be motherish the children are regular archangels i came near having a quarrel with lorry i freed my mind about a silly little thing and he was offended and marched home I got mad. Just at night, I felt better, and ran over to tell Laurie I was sorry. I met him coming for the same thing. We both laughed and felt all good again. Give father my lovingest hug that ever was, and kiss yourself a dozen times for your topsy turvy Joe. Dear mother, there's only room for me to send my love and some pressed pansies for father to see. I read every morning. try to be good all day and sing myself to sleep with father's tune everyone is very kind and we are as happy as we can be without you amy wants the rest of the page so i must stop kiss dear father on the cheek he calls mine oh do come soon to your loving little beth ma chere mama we are all well i do my lessons always and never corroborate the girls max says i mean contradict So I put in both words, and you can take the proper rest. Meg is a great comfort to me, and lets me have jelly every night at tea. It's so good for me. Joe says because it keeps me sweet tempered. Meg says my punctuation and spelling are disgraceful, and I am mortified. But dear me, I have so many things to do. I can't stop. Adieu. I send heaps of love to Papa, your affectionate daughter, Amy Curtis March.